Episode 113, dude. Wow. Just got done with Patreon 2. That'll be coming out. Check your fucking Patreon. Yeah, dude. That was a good, that was a good one, man. That was just, fun. Just got done. Kicked our fucking guests out. Now it's oh, just yeah. the boys. Now it's just the fucking now dogs, dude. Now it's the dude. fucking dogs. <sighs> this is at, we're outside of the paywall now. Just now, wanna now this is for the people. Say what's up to all of our haters, dude. The haters listen to the free the one. The haters get sure, the free dude. one. For sure. That's... Dude, how many of our enemies do you think are listening right now? Dude, I, I was thinking about that this weekend. Um, I was loving thinking about our enemies just being like, are they still doing this? Did anyone even listen to that? Yeah, like, dude. Yeah, motherfucker. Thousands Suck a of fucking motherfuckers are on dick. our dicks right now. Suck dude. a fat dick, dude. Suck his tits. Woo! Suck his titties. You get your tits sucked? Oh, yeah, I get my tits sucked. Yeah, I do Suck too my now. fucking nipples. I love Suck that shit. Suck my tits, dude. Dude, my nipples are sensitive as fuck, dude. Yeah, it's nice. I didn't think I'd like it. Ooh. I'm into it. My baby knows. <laughs> she wants to speed me up, dude. She fu- if she starts sucking she my nips, I'm done, dude. Yeah, what noise do you make when she starts sucking them? Oh, oh you go Asian. <laughs> <laughs> if I get my nips sucked, oh. I am fully like... like it's, Dude, that is my boner rocket. Like, stop, dude. stop. Oh. You better stop. <laughs> You're gonna make me fucking pop right now, dude. I fucking I <laughs> yesterday got some fucking sniz. I I've been on like a very like no porn. You got sniz yesterday? I got fucking sniz. It was like mate, we were we we're on a rocky road, dude. So we were yeah. fucking. We had a significant. We, you know, we did That's some the best time to get sniz Ooh. when you break through that fucking rocky rough patch. Yeah, we busted through like level a thousand and nine yeah. of like rocky run. Dude, I'm, we're 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 on a quick pace. We're trying to catch you. <laughs> Maybe baby girl are trying to fucking match your guys' what, what level. level. You guys on? We're on fucking like. <laughs> Probably rough patch like twenty eight, but this is <laughs> it's like three months. Yeah, girl fight or fight with your girl is the worst video game ever, dude. Oh, it sucks. Oh, dude, I was I was and it's like a maze, dude. They like make these mazes for you, and then you have to sit there like the fucking mythical hero you are and break through their fucking illusions, yeah. dude, and the riddles. She's just putting up riddles and illusions. You have to be like, wait a second, no, and you have to yeah, break wait, that. Is this true? Are you a fucking idiot? Am I an idiot? Am I a fucking idiot? <laughs> What's happening? Are we both idiots? Yeah, dude. Maybe we're both idiots. That I was on a I was on that a couple times where I'm like we're fuck I'm nuts you're fucking nuts yeah every once in a while we'll be like we're gonna hanging end up out. in pajama pants during the day like, we're fucking idiots yeah I, a couple times I thought I was in like the choose your own adventure where like I'd end up in like pajama pants arguing with the cops yeah. there I'm like pajama pants VFW you've been running me down for ten years <laughs> yeah, you've been going all black man <laughs> oh, did you see True Detective <laughs> yeah what is she's like you're so dumb everything you touch turns to shit and he's like woman you've been running me down for ten years dude. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. The choose your own adventure <laughs> is definitely, and so far, everyone I see leads me to just drunk at a VFW. Oh, for sure. That's how my life ends. <laughs> Hammered an Elks. That's just a good. Like, no, it ain't lost again. <laughs> Heart attack, and that's it. Lights out, dude. I fucking yesterday. So like, I I haven't been on the porn. Without watching porn, I don't jerk off that much at all. I don't have the desire to really that much. It's, I still have to crank one out every now and again. Yeah. But like. So I do your ele- are, you, are your erections? Do you get like no reason boners, or do you just you just going? Sometimes they've been flaccid. coming up. They've been, I've been getting like no reason boners. I caught a dude. I, I like saw something the other day. Uh, I'm sorry. This is this is. I got to give credit sure. to to baby girl for this because yeah. this is very funny. Uh, which which sucks because it was definitely one of her exes that came up with it. Yeah. But it, whoever he was, he was funny. <laughs> uh, he calls a semi chicken parm <laughs> for some reason. Like if you have a semi erect dick, he's like, oh, you got chicken parm going. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Calling actually, it your parm is so funny. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Yeah, I got dude. chicken parm. I'm parmed up. <laughs> I got parm. Dude, I uh so, no. So I I noticed that like I when you if you go if you quit porn, I'm like I think like 25 percent rewired. When you quit porn, you start getting like the rockest of hard fucking birds, dude. It's hard too though holding back your crumb. So I was like going so slow, dude, holding my crumb, and I'm yeah. I'm going doing a good a couple of fucking full stops, just you know like the yeah. ride stops when people are getting oh, I'm on. Full dude. stop, yeah, dude. I was I'm like, full stop and like go for like a kiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just go all the way in and full stop. Like, what are you doing? Keep going. I'm like, just let it sit. I'm like, hold on, hold on. I want to go slow. You dude. <laughs> so I'm going and finally it's time, dude. I'm like, all right, I, this can't go on any longer. Yeah. And I, I pull out thinking like, it's just another crumb like any other. I pulled up a sports bra to crumb into it 
And as it started coming out, I was like, this is not for sports. And it just shot over the sports <laughs> bra. Sports bra. Dude. <laughs> All I heard was they're like, am I? When the girls get come on, they're like, am I? I'm like, yes. uh, literally in the middle. I at one point was like, uh, uh, and I went, ah! I started letting out high pitch, dude. It was so much crumb, dude. It was so I had to start letting out high pitch. I was I was worried my neighbor could hear me, dude. I'm sorry. Today, this morning, I had sex and I made a funny noise when I came and it made me laugh so hard. I was like, I'm gonna fucking come. <laughs> 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 We, had, we were in a fucking gay condom. Really? Yeah. That's the only time I ever have the confidence to CP. Uh, oh, it's not a true CP, God, but dude. yeah. No, that's still even... No, but I'm saying even CPing with a condom on, I'm a screaming demon, Yeah, dude. I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to come... <laughs> Ooh, I can't stay silent, dude. When no. all my nerve endings, endings are firing in that one spot at that one moment, I... I can't hold it in, dude. Yeah, dude. You become one with the universe. You just float through the cosmos. Oh my you fucking god! Neil deGrasse, well, the, funny, <laughs> the funniest part is like I knew exactly where I was, and I was just like I knew I was coming. She starts laughing at me when I'm like, because I'm like, ah, oh, and yeah. I'm, I'm so I'm fucking. La- when you would do that when we lived together, I'd be in the room over. I didn't laughing. know you could hear me. Yeah, I, I, you're screaming <laughs> every time you come. You're like, I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'd be in my room like, uh, like half asleep. Dude, the whole time there, I'm like, shh. I know. Shh. The whole time, every time you'd fuck, it'd be like loud clapping, and then you'd be like, uh, 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 shh, 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 shh. I'd hear you'd be like, Shane. He can hear us, Shane. Uh. Dude, I can't help it, dude. I'm a passionate man. No, it's hot. It's oh. hot. I'll give it like when you're telling a chick to be quiet when she's like making noises. Oh, it's it's awesome. so fucking hot. It's like, oh, so you gotta shut the fuck up. Every, you keep every shush. I'm like, oh god, I'm harder. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every shush. I'm closer to coming. She can make me if a chick. Yeah, whenever she wants to end it, she can make it end just by making a lot of noise. Oh, dude. And I'm just like I'm done. I'm fucking done. <laughs> if they say anything I come, like, about the grape coming, lady. I'm like, oh god. I sounded like the grape lady when I came. I was like, here, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god dude bezos yeah. got fucking what bezos cheated on his wife bezos did yeah bezos was fucking how the fuck did he get caught that's what i said dude i was just thinking about that today it's like maybe he's not the evil super genius he thought he was dude my my thing is like oh, yeah or he is because i was like how does a billionaire get divorced if you have a billion dollars you could totally navy seal your wife yeah. She's like, I'm leaving you. You could be like, okay. Yeah. Well, you're you leaving one Earth phone too. call. You're yeah. dead. Yeah, dude. You could definitely. I'm going to launch you into space. I'm wondering if he, he heard the news. She's like, I'm leaving you. And he has enough money to get like a body double. Like he could literally <laughs> craft a wife that looked like his, kill his wife. And like, all right, you already filed the paperwork. We're going to get divorced. And you're going to fucking, you're going to hold some of my money. He probably figured out how to like do the tax write off and stuff. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that. I don't know how. I don't know if being married helps Jeff Bezos' tax returns in terms of like filing jointly yeah you know it doesn't help his what alexandria or Ocasio t- cortez dude she's calling for that 70 percent on the fucking wealthy Whew. i'm ready i'm i'm ready for that too dude i Hell need yeah. that trickle down off that 70 percent sure, bezos dude. getting hit with 70 percent oh. give me that dude how much more do you be left with i mean still too much but not enough so they're dude. saying Billion- you can keep all i love you- billionaires they're saying you can keep what you have but we're going to, at this point forward, we're going to tax you 70%. I think. They'll just fucking get around it and go to another country. Yeah, they'll just, or the billionaires will just go, no. Yeah. And what are you going to do? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the billionaires in charge of the government will be like, mm, slide like, this well, one to the shredder. I'm going to make a funny GIF and post it on Twitter. And that's my political. That's, that's, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Look at her fucking Twitter. It's crazy. Well, like, all right. I'm not one of these people that dislikes her because I'm some fucking staunch republican sure. and she's like a democratic socialist or yeah. whatever she is i just hate that she's doing she's like the gillette commercial as a person yeah it's for like sure. oh you're doing your social justice to gain power yeah for you're sure not, dude i watched her give a speech at the women's march that was like we're picking up where the the civil rights movement left off like she's they're, they're basically saying like this is the same civil rights movement the fuck and it's like her. dude 
You're a congresswoman. Yeah. You're not getting fucking fire hoses and dogs. Yeah. Like, let's not fucking get on a podium and compare yourself to Martin Luther King. Oh, it's crazy, dude. And she didn't directly do that, but... I've heard I've heard that comparison made. It's like, well, you know, let's, like... I know all of our oppression isn't the same, but, like, if we just unite goals and... Dude, it's fucking crazy. I ain't trying to hear that shit. Yeah, it's... And the Gillette commercial is, like... I almost tweeted about it yesterday. Did you really? Because everybody's like, oh, sorry, you're offended by the Gillette commercial? What's wrong with you? Like, how fucking dumb are you? It's like, maybe they're not offended because it's... Maybe they're not defending toxic masculinity or whatever. Maybe they're like, oh, this is a corporation monetizing social justice. Yeah, for sure. And it's corny as fuck. Maybe that's why they hate the ad. Not because they want to be like, I should be able to bully and grab pussy and do whatever the fuck (laughs) I want. I'm a man. It's like, no, maybe maybe they're just like, oh, this is phony as fuck. Yeah, they see through it. It's like the Pepsi commercial. It's a better version of that. It was. It's crazy. Dude, that, that was like... Apparently, there was like marketers trying to figure out how to market to millennials, and they never, they couldn't figure it out. And I'm telling you, the way to do it is making them think they're part of like some sort of change. So if you can be like, you guys are changing the world, that's they, they figured that out and they started running with that, and then they started seeing like the fallout and then all the how many of those things get retweeted from people being like, what the fuck is this bullshit? And yeah, dude. Meanwhile, Gillette's just like, yup. But it's weird it's that, that like, Obama <laughs> fucking game plan. Hope and change. True. Yeah, true. It's like, let's unite the masses. Hope and change. And it's like, I'm going to deport more people than anyone ever. <laughs> I'm going to bomb more fucking... I wonder if Gillette was trying to, like, feel in some flack from the Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club is probably raking it in right now, too. For sure. Getting well, those fucking good old boys. It's just hilarious that it's like the fucking. Pretty uh, sick if the alt right starts going Dollar, Dollar Shave, Shave Club. Club, dude. <laughs> Dollar Shave Club's like, no, 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 no. no I just no. wonder how, like, like, political ideology has nothing to do with the razor purchase. No, of course not. So it's like I don't even. I just like when like, I go man, buy. We ra- can do better. Yeah, sure. Yeah. It was just fucking weird to me, man. I don't like it's. Plus, like the guys, when it gets to that level of like a publicly traded company, like Gillette's probably part of some other conglomerate company uh, that sells Procter and Gamble. Procter I think. and Gamble. I think these are dudes just sitting there. These are like Warren Buffett looking dudes, just like holding a sheet of paper and just going yeah. like, "All right, it looks good." And then there's these companies they hire to do like the advertising and there's always people like wouldn't it be uh, and they pitch this thing none of it means anything and this yeah. guy's sitting there and after that commercial happened they like check the numbers and like huh, okay yeah see cool. how that went so like, we'll either get, do it again or not they get extra dividends and like nice like it yeah. literally does nothing i mean it's also the same the the billionaire ceos that are running this and agreeing sure. with this they were the same guys that when they were 50 because now they're like fucking 80 yeah we're we're the problem oh my god <laughs> like, these dude. are the problem <laughs> yeah, these guys good. are the whole thing that this movement is like these guys are a fucking problem and now they're harnessing that yeah. and like yeah buy more of our shit yeah it's, it's crazy crazy man. Yeah, man oh that must be they must be laughing so hard to just be like no it was those guys over there <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. like <laughs> we talked about it we talked about it on uh the bonfire on yeah. sirius xm wow MVD, dude. that was what a fucking tour de force Damn. last week that was, was great Jesus Christ. Getting Maddie McCosk up on the bonfire. Dragged me up the to New York, dude. The fucking boys were hungry for I'm, it. like, fucking driving a cat. Do you ever drive your cat to the vet? I fucking hate leaving Philadelphia, dude. I'm just like, oh, God. Yeah, taking Matt anywhere is tough. <laughs> <laughs> you did great. That was a blast. You dude. handled yourself like a champion. That was fun, man. Yeah. That was fun. I tried you not to get... jumped right in. Yeah, I didn't want to get daunted. Well, it's just from doing all this podcasting, dude. I didn't want to get daunted. It's tough. The first time it, I did the bonfire, the I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. It, and it was him and it was Soder and Jay. So doing that, yeah, without having you there, that'd be difficult. It's if tough. I, when you're sitting there, it's it's easier to do because I you do it with you a lot. But yeah, walking in on that solo, that would have been fucking a little yeah. daunting. And Soder's really good at just shifting into whatever the... He is, actually. Yeah. He's really quick. And uh, it's funny because I treat you like a... It's like show and tell. When I take you out, I'm like, and Matt does this. Matt, tell him how you do this. <laughs> Matt, tell him about how you do this one thing. <laughs> if, you was, listen to the, if you listen to the episode again, there's a couple really? times I'm like, Matt, you have that thing. Remember when you did this? Oh, my God. Like, that's so like, funny. <laughs> that was a fun episode, man. Yeah, let, was, listen to it. It's on YouTube. Yeah, check it out. Yeah. That's January 15th. She. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what else is up? I was down at, I was in the car with Claire. And every time she plugs in her iPhone on her car, it plays John Mayer. Nice. She loves John Mayer. And, uh, dude, John Mayer is the gayest music. It's like... What song comes on? 
they're all the exact same. Every song is like, you are a princess and I love you. I'm gonna, you're going to find Mr. Right and you're beautiful. Every <laughs> single song is to these girls that are like, John Mayer is really good. And it's like, yeah, it's hilarious. you are a princess. I love you. Your body's perfect. Oh, wow. <laughs> Even did that song where he's like, to the dads being like, don't mess up your daughters. Yeah, like, Fathers be good to your daughters. <laughs> that was his problem, dude. He was, he was getting so much sniz. He was like, he was probably sitting there just like, all right, how do I deal with crazy snit? He's like, all right, I'm going to have, I'm going to take a this. shot at all their dads. I'm going to attack this at the <laughs> source, dude. And that's the funny thing, because he's always making these love songs. It's like, dude, he's just fucking groupies. Like, he's just banging chicks all the time. Dude. And then he's making love songs, which is, it's such a funny thing for dudes to make love songs. Yeah. And then just fuck a ton of chicks. He's a monster, dude. Yeah. It's Imagine, a great, great plan. I mean, it's definitely a good headspace. It's like so Gillette. If you're meeting a new girl every day, you could write a million love songs. Yeah. Like, I love your brown hair and your brown eyes. A week um, later, I have like, blonde hair. Blonde hair, blue eyes, princess, you're beautiful. I fucked a dude. <laughs> yeah, one of the songs. One time I fucked a guy. He does I have that breath. run through the halls of a guy's butt. <laughs> he does have that, like, breathy voice. Oh, it's so fucking I annoying. always imagined him back when he was at open mics. When he got up and was just like... <sighs> oh, he gets on every one of his open mic songs. Is probably like waitress at the bar. You're beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you next. <laughs> Your ass smells so good. Yeah, but then she started shitting on my music, What'd which was funny because I listen to like Run the Jewels, and every song is like I'm the fucking man. Bitch. <laughs> She's like, turn this the fuck off. Oh, my like, God. You want to put on John Mayer? It's so... like, you got to work hard, girl, but you're still beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny. I always say how good of a musician he is. I mean, that's the, He's great. That's the standard knowledge about him is that he is like an He's elite a guitarist. Fantastic right? guitarist. Yeah, it's just lyrically, he leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah, he could have been me. a bad boy. Instead, he fucking. He went full snails. True. You're right, dude. But just Drake does that a song. lot. Drake, Drake, Drake writes has, a lot of songs for girls. And I'm always like, so many fuck? songs with Drake that I and I, you know me, dude. I love Jersey Drake. I'm but dude, what, he is fucking I'm team gay. Sol- I'm team soldier. I know dude. you're soldier. Yeah, damn young fucking Draco, dude. I'll you been you following that. that? No, I haven't. Tell God, me about. It's it. Give so me the rundown. Fucking funny. So he just went in. I think the Breakfast Club. Soldier Boy was on the Breakfast. Soldier Club? Boy, tell yeah. him. Yeah, SBT. Soldier Boy, tell him. SBTM, dude. He came into the Breakfast Club because every you know when he got in a fight with Chris Brown, everyone was clowning him. So everyone's been fucking clowning Soldier Boy for like a year. He he released four albums last year, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. I didn't know. So he goes on the Breakfast Club and he's just basically like, "I'm the hottest. I had the biggest comeback of 2018. I'm the hottest rapper alive." And they're just laughing at him. Yeah. And he's just like, he starts just like spitting out these facts of just being like, basically he put a bunch of people on. He was like, "I was the first rapper to use the internet and like show people how to like vlog, use Twitter. I set up Nicki Minaj's Twitter. Like these guys didn't know shit. I started this." And like, well, what do you want? And he's like, just some fucking respect, dude. Send me a check. He was just trolling, like fucking with people. Yeah. And he went outside of a wall where they have all the greats posted on there, painted on, and he starts pointing at people in the trash, dude. It's so oh, fucked. Oh, man. And they're like, well, what did they say? Well, like, Drake's the hottest rapper right now. That's where they got that meme. He was like, Drake. And he got up and started walking around. He goes, that motherfucker who's hiding his kid? Dude, was, Boys? Oh, he oh. starts killing him. And Drake, it's, but Drake bit his line. You know when he goes, tell me what's really going on? You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soldier Boy has a song two years before. He goes, tell me what's really, soldiers, what's happening? In. Yeah. Drake bit him. So he's like, motherfucker, bit my dude. He just starts fucking crushing. Every, it's the funniest thing in the world. Damn. And then there's a clip where like he went to, like, did all this press and everyone's trying to attack him. He started. He, he can't launched, touch he launched his own video game. He's Dude, he's the hottest rapper right now in 2019. Yeah. He launched his own video game console. And they're making fun of him because it looks all bootlegged and shit because it has no like name on it. We might have to ditch Wild Wild West. We might have to go soldier. We might dude. have to crank that to dude, start every I episode know, from dude, here on out. I am not afraid, dude. You I am not dang, afraid, dang, dude. Dang, dang. I will switch that. I was actually thinking of ending yeah, with some that song on this. Dude, that's Soldier hilarious. Boy, soldier Boy's I got like fifty five million electronic downloads first. I mean, that's that song was Awesome. It was gigantic. That He's, was fucking Gangnam style. That was the Macarena. If you play that in the club right now, he was he was basically saying like He's like, all these rappers don't know what they're doing. I produced Crank That. I wrote Crank That. All the money comes to me. I have more money than these people. They're all sorted. Dude, he's so fucking what funny. What Soldier Boy sitting at? I wonder what that net worth is. He said he's, I think he said he has like uh, 50 million or something. So divide that by 50 million. <laughs> he, uh, whatchamacallit, no, I think he has 30, he said. Check it out. But he made a video game console, and they're trashing him on that because he has a soldier phone. He has the soldier watch. Soldier video game console. Get these things. Yeah, Soldier Boy movie. I'm, yeah, I'm getting a Soldier Trap phone for sure. 
Soldier Boy's net worth is thirty mil. Yeah, dude. He's trying to be a billionaire. He wants to be a billionaire. Well, but... he better start selling those Soldier Boy game consoles. <laughs> <laughs> he made a million dollars in a week, dude. What? Yeah, a, a Nintendo pro. dude. He was on the thing like, y'all love the motherfucking Asians at Nintendo. Y'all love the motherfucking white people at Xbox. And he's on like a black show. He's like, y'all can't support me. I'm a black. I'm a black businessman. Wow. And dude, that lady's like, oh, you see this black lady? Like, oh, we we support black owned business. I know that's all you we, have to say. We support black owned dude. He starts. He's just so fucking funny. And then uh, this lady's like, yo, why you got so many businesses though? And he ignores her the one time. And then she says it again. And he stops. And he goes, bitch, why don't you have so many businesses? I'm a motherfucking hustler, dude. Oh, he's fuck. So, he just crushes is everyone dude it's so fucking funny yes and like when people say anything he's like man shut your fucking mouth dude it's he is so funny you know he shot people right <laughs> did you know people broke into soldier boy's house and he shot the shit out of him <laughs> dude he got off on like a stand your ground law in atlanta <laughs> soldier boy stood his ground. <laughs> four dudes, dude i love four, standing your ground four dudes came into his house with like ak's and he fucking lit them up and like shot a guy in the back and he like ran soldier into boy another, gun soldier boy <laughs> he had his own <laughs> brand gun <laughs> <laughs> Yo, his video game system is just old <laughs> Nintendo games, and it's like you pay for like 250 bucks for eight. You can have like 800 games from all the consoles, and it's in the Soldier Boy console. You pay 250, dude. You can get a handheld for like a buck 50 and have a license to 800 classic games, dude. And you can support the fucking cause, dude. The cause is now Soldier Boy. Dude, Soldier Boy is my. Dude, you gotta listen to his new shit, dude. He, he released a song called New Drip. It's like my favorite song right now. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny. He had a funny. music video of him at like on a basketball court at a park. And it was probably the worst fucking music <laughs> dude, video and song. Bite your fucking tongue, dude. It was one of the worst things dude, I've Soulja ever Boy seen. Dude, Soldier Boy has Turn your turn My Swag On hit uh what's the other one? Superman since as a smash, Kiss Me Through the yeah, Phone. Soldier Boy is Stephen Curry. <laughs> I never it's heard that. Stephen He's Curry. very prolific, dude. He might have he has like 50 albums. Stephen Curry is probably sick. It is, I swear to God, the worst. <laughs> it's the worst song and music video I've ever no, seen. Dude. Soldier Boy is the hottest seen. rapper in 2019, dude. I got. I mean, it's just him being like, "I'm the hottest rapper in the game," and they're like, "No, you're fucking not." And he's like, "What?" And they'll name people. He's like, "Man, he's fucking trash. Fuck him." And dude, it's so fucking funny. That was that was like the highlight of my all I watch is Soldier Boy dude, interviews right now. Intro. This, these are the lyrics to yeah. <laughs> Soldier Boy Steph Curry. Intro. This is for my boy Steph Curry. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the hook. I'm feeling like Steph Curry. I'm feeling like Steph Curry. I'm feeling like Steph Curry. Swish. Steph Curry. I'm feeling like Steph Curry. I'm feeling like Steph Curry. I mean, you get the picture. He says that for another 20 minutes, and it says, I'm stunting on him like I'm Steph Curry. <laughs> Verse 1, Steph Curry, number 30. I was stunting on him. They wouldn't believe me. Shooting threes from half court, I'd make it look easy. I'm the best point guard in the league, NBA, all day. I crossed, I crossed LeBron, shot a three in his face, Steph Curry. I'd be Curry with the shot, boy. I'd be Chef Curry with the pot, boy. Hook. I'm feeling like Steph Curry. Dude, it is the worst when fucking When did you release thing. that song? Probably back. Uh, Yo, when what, Steph Curry did, what did Drake say? Chef Curry with the wrist. He fucking stole. He I, fucking jacked him again. Soldier Boy is a fucking grandfather of modern rap, dude. You just have to accept it. <laughs> you might have something there, as far as using the internet. He's the Dane Cook of basically. Yeah, and he's dude. He's called. He's like he. He has a glorious comeback. <laughs> is that Steph Curry? I mean, it's, you got you got to see. The, the, Wait, when were you sitting there when you listened to Soldier Boy, Steph Curry by Soldier Boy, dude? What? I was probably trying to look at Steph Curry highlights at like three a.m. Like, what the fuck is <laughs> it's it's filmed at like their neighborhood park. Oh my god! And it's it's ridiculous. That's so funny. And he, funny. he sucks at basketball. Soldier Boy is really bad <laughs> you can at basketball. See him try to shoot, and it's so fucking. Well, he's funny. a blood dude. He's probably not, he probably didn't spend much he's, time. He's blood gang. He's blood he's gang. Fucking Sue. He's got blood like Dracula, dude. You gotta hear his new song. <laughs> it's like cooking that dope, it looks spectacular, dude. It's so uh, that's fucking, pretty good. You know, it's it's so I like that. Spectacular and Dracula. <laughs> 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 I like that, dude. I uh, I've been starting to so I'm basically the fucking 
Being that we're the hottest podcasters, dude, in 2019. We were the hottest podcasters. We had the biggest comeback in 2018. 20, yeah, people thought we were going to slump. We had a big comeback. It was the people were like, you guys still doing that? And it was like, man, we're just out here grinding. Exactly. Dude. We just take our time with this shit. We still believe in that. Exactly. You know, and there's a reason it's the secret cast. Oh, for sure. We wanted to wait till it was fucking hot. There's levels of this, dude. There's deep levels, dude. We're on Bezos levels <laughs> sure, of fucking dude. mind control. For sure. We're Now we're finally exerting our plan of world dominance. Exactly. The secret cast, the Shat Nation is rising, dude. <laughs> Dude, 2019, this is the year I fucking slay all my demons. What demons do you have? Dude, I've been systematically going through and slaying. Like, You've I, been systematically slaying things? My demons. No, my demons, dude. Just <laughs> so me. you call Jews? Dude. <laughs> no. Yo, speaking of the original Shat Nation, dude. What? Eric Shaw. What up, dude? He, he's, What's that boy up to? He's one of C-Doc's, C-Doc's boys, dude. <laughs> C-Doc and G-Doc led the fucking flock to the Shat Nation. What? Yeah, they did. They were the no, original. For, for they real. were some of the original bulls, dude. For real. No Saracini doubt. was an original bull. Yep. There's a lot. There is. A lot of OGs. All right, no, there so are. Dude, what so demons do you sign? Fear of the dark. You're afraid of the dark? I didn't realize. I forgot I was. I was crippling. I was so afraid of the dark when I was little. The other day I was down in my basement. I think I talked oh, about basements this. are horrifying. My power went out. And I fucking shit my pants and ran upstairs. And I started thinking like... That's fucking lame to be scared, like be afraid of your basement in the dark. <laughs> yeah, we've so I started, talked about this. I started doing dark walks. Dark walks. Where I walk into it, I just go, fuck it. And I walk into my dark basement, and I make myself just sit in my basement in the darkness and walk around. It's spooky down there, dude. The basements are the spookiest I was terrible. I was literally, it was like a phobia level where I was like, because I was like watching it. I'm, or I was watching True Detective, and I'm like, it's so fucking lame. I'm scared of the dark. I was like, what yeah. a fucking bitch. And I was just like, because I'll even like walk through my house, and I'll like look through the corner of my yeah. eye, and I'm like, oh my God. So I made myself, the first night after True Detective... I left my backyard light on. There's like a little window that like lit up my basement a little bit, but it's still dark. I made it halfway down the stairs. I was like, nope. And I fucking ran upstairs. Like, because I have this red, that someone was plugged in. There's like a red light, like a drill or something. I was like, fuck it, dude. I pussied out and I was like, fuck it. So I went down and did it again. So I've been systematically de- desens- or desensitizing myself to Good, fear of the dark. To fear of the dark. Dude. So I, I crushed yeah. my fear of the dark daemons. Um, what other daemons? Basically getting high and bugging out demons, crush them. In terms of like bugging and be like, oh god, if crush those Getting demons. High, those demons are fucking in my ass. I'm crushing dude. all. I of them, can't dude. get rid of those. You have, you can. That's I a, can't. Well, my thing is, once you, it's a domino effect. Once you crush a demon, you're like, like I was bugging yeah, out. Once you dark... punch a demon in the face, you realize exactly. dude, any of your demons you can conquer. That's what I'm saying. That's that's one thing I love about the Shat Nation, dude, dude and the podcast. This is an, this is a yo for real for low real, key inspirational for real dude. low key inspiration. It is, dude. Check your bitch. Yep. That's what everybody here needs to know. You gotta yep. make sure your bitch is checked. You gotta suge nut you gotta suge nut your bitch every dude. now and again. Just fucking yeah. psychically feed over the fucking LA over the yeah, fucking dude. Mohegan Sun. Ice her, dude. <laughs> Hold her over the fucking balcony. <laughs> Figuratively. <laughs> yeah, dude. Or you could literally domestic violence is sick, dude. Or you know what's a good move? If you're if you're fucking arguing with your girlfriend, since you can't hit her, just start shadow boxing like around just turn around and just be like, <laughs> like what are you doing? Just be like, I'm fucking just need some time and just Show her the fucking her raw power you have, dude. I haven't had to. I've never punched just pick a wall. Pick things up, pick up the table, and be like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, start lifting heavy shit. <laughs> I've never punched a wall like out of anger outside no. of like a Notre Dame game. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> My current bitch is pushing me to wall punching. Did levels. you ever smash a phone? No, I smash. That's what I tell any girl I've dated that made me smash a phone. I, I'm like, welcome to the hall of greats. You're, yeah. Three women in my life made me smash phones. You're officially great. You're in the hall of greats if you make me smash a fucking phone, dude. Oh, fuck. There's a lot of androids in the junkyard, dude, from a couple of relationships. I had like, a fucking buy. <laughs> yeah, I had a friend at Elon. He played fullback. He was from mm. Jersey. Uh, above his bed in his dorm room because he would lay on his back with his on the phone with his girlfriend. Yeah, holes fucking everywhere <laughs> in this guy's wall next to his bed because he'd be on the phone and he'd just be like i remember because then he would call his mom yeah and it would be the fuck because he was a wop he was from jersey oh my jacked God. motherfucker yeah. jacked motherfucker draws his name was fucking joey draws dude oh he was God. huge he horrified me but yeah. he would call his mom after he'd be like hey ma he's like i'm gonna kill this bitch ma like he would go full fucking guido punching walls and shit <laughs> i was like damn this guy's in love he definitely dude. hit his girlfriend he's in love no he didn't I'm sorry, I didn't mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm still kind of friend. I still like sorry, the guy. Sorry. <laughs> he was like Ronnie. Was he as jacked as Ronnie? He was Ronnie. And he might like, have been Ronnie. 
what are you fucking crazy? I can't. I gotta call my like, mom. I gotta, man, call, you know? I gotta talk to Ma now. <laughs> ah, what are you doing to me? <laughs> You're making me call my mother. He in was this a Jersey hour. Shore. Yeah. Oh my god. But he was. He played fullback and he was fucking yoked, dude. <laughs> my mom's gotta get up at six a.m. to <sighs> smoke cigarettes. She doesn't have time for this. <laughs> I don't have time for what you're doing to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like I was like 300 pounds just sitting there just like what the fuck is going on dude? I'm trying to black out oh my god yeah this is yeah I mean I'm finally I've, I've found somebody that made me want to punch walls <laughs> so it's good it's nice it it's nice fun. being in love dude yeah you're in fucking you're like this. Is I've like, been in love before this is the first love this where I've been in love I'm just full of domestic violence <laughs> coursing through my veins <laughs> all, all I know is love dude yeah you've, you're pretty much always in love I've never this been in love my first love relationship <sighs> Bro, it stinks. It gets to the point where the next thing you're 32 and you're like, "What the fuck? How does this always happen to me? Yeah, why? What? Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> why am I always in love?" <laughs> love is where you're both. Yeah, there's no. You don't feel that yep. rage coursing through you. Yeah, straight love though. That's when you're punching walls, calling your ma. Yeah, that's when you're having like arguments. Like I'll have like turn into Wario. Turn into Wario. He probably drove over there and kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, love is Mario. That'd be funny. Love Mario is Mario. Just, love is Wario. That could be the level. That could be what Mario's all about, dude. His girlfriend was cheating. He was trying to drive, get to the castle and just beat the fuck out of her. Just beating the shit out of turtles. <laughs> he just gets to the castle and hits her with a wrench. He's like, this is what I told you. I'm hanging out with people like this. Oh my god! But yeah, that's my that's my whole new kick of 2019, dude. Smashing demons. Smashing demons. I, dude, it, it's all part of my. I finally figured out my workout plan, where it's now like. So like if I I have like seven days, thousand push ups in seven days, six chicken wings, X amount of pull ups, half pound of beef. So like I can gather supplies. So I'm trying to emulate the physical load that it would take to get if I had to actually to go gather three catch chickens. chickens and shit. <laughs> exactly. So I have to like I'm trying to emulate the physical you load. You know what you that. could do to emulate that? What? Is walk outside and bend down and pick something up. Yeah, but I mean I'm talking about the I'm talking to recreating the hunt. Yeah. So it's like I'm trying to recreate like Jog the, for the running I'd have to do. Imagine like, having to catch a chicken in a wild. You just sit there. Yeah, I'll catch a chicken. No technology. I can go catch a chicken right now. I doubt it. I'll walk outside right now. You can't get it. If there's a, chicken. a wild chicken out in you Philly. You could grip no wild chicken, dude. I'll fucking grip a chick. No, you, you don't think I grip dude. a chick? Hell no, dude. We'd be in Tiss in fucking 10 minutes. <laughs> if we went back to hunter gatherer days, <laughs> I'd be the Tiss tribe, dude. Hell no, dude. We'd be fucking lounge. I'd be sleeping them. <laughs> I wouldn't know how to make anything else. <laughs> That'd be my bed. would be a bed of Tiss. But yeah, that's my uh, that's my thing. I figured out my workout, my new diet slash workout plan. I don't know what to call it because it's basically a synthesis of both. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. It's not yeah, just yeah. about the working out. It's not just about the eating. It's full lifestyle. Dude. More or less a workout for the soul. That's what yeah. it's about. You know my what I'm talking about? Just got a Sapien the book. What's that? Sapiens. The oh, book. she got Sapiens. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know if I wanted to read it. Yo, Vol, I'm sure there's Harari. gonna be a chapter in there that's like you should fuck everyone. That's how humans are designed. Nah, I'm I don't like, think nah, you... dude, fuck that. Yuval, I don't know if Yuval like Harari Bible, is about dude. that. Sapiens is a slut Bible. No, he knows the slut Bible. Fucking uh, Dawn. Sex at Dawn. Yeah, fuck the keep slut that Bible. Out of That's the, fucking, the slut Bible. Keep that out of her yeah, hands. Keep, if you have a baby girl, dude, do not let her read Sex at Dawn. Yeah, keep that She's the fuck thinking, out. I'm biologically inclined to fuck everyone. And it's yeah, like, dude. no, Sex at no. Dawn. No, read the fucking real no, Bible. They lost. Yeah, they lost. There's a reason they lost. They were too busy fucking. And then dudes filled with cum came down with a sword and fucking cut their heads off. I mean, you can imagine the unfair fight yeah. that was. Cum filled dudes versus cum drained dudes. Dudes and swords came down like, what are you doing? Like, we're all fucking each other. We're like, fuck that. That's gay. <laughs> <laughs> He's a horde's mask. Like, these guys are being gay. <laughs> Just a fucking uh, was that was that any of those Braveheart epic battles? Yeah, any of those. <laughs> He's just, just out on the horse, just like. And when you look back, when you're, in your old, in your deathbed, you will remember, these guys were fucking gay, dude. This is fucking gay what they were doing. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, they're like fucking girls, but like I just, some of their butts touch like, while they're fucking girls. They like let each other fuck each other's chicks. Imagine that being your girlfriend, dude. We gotta kill them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's uh. We were down in Princeton. That's where we were. Yeah. It's fucking Chinese city, dude. Princeton? Every Ivy League. 
Oh, yeah, I was just there. Every Ivy League is Chinese villages, dude. It's Princeton's nice as fuck. I didn't Princeton's remember. So, gorgeous. I didn't remember so many Chinese. The Chinese are there. They're all fucking. True. Go, they all go to school there. I mean, wherever there's Every learning, single, wherever there's learning going on. Wherever there's learning, the Chinese are true. Fucking boy, they love books. Yeah, they're all over it, man. Yeah. Well, that's like when I was on my little ja- at, or yeah Japanimation kick, I <laughs> noticed that's a fucking common theme in like. We have a lot of our common themes, and you watch like you know, like Avengers and all that shit. One of their common themes, that I because I watched a bunch of different shows, is like there's this test, and it's a really hard test, and they have to prove that they do well to the master or like yeah. they're like they're uh, superior. And there's this test, and they have to like figure out what the test is because it's like a tricky dude. And it's like this has been like across a bunch of these different yeah. shows I watch. The Chinese have had that. This is the hardest test. And they'd be sitting there like very difficult to test. And then like when they when they sit down, they get the little sweat drop. It's like. Bing! And they're just like, oh, <laughs> everybody's going to know that. I'm... Dude, it's so fucking funny. Yeah, that's what they're doing. We went, we, we got like coffee, it's a bunch of Chinese just studying. Cramming for it. There was also two dorks, an Indian chick and a, mm-hmm. a gay white dude. Yeah. And they were like flirting over the topic they were studying. And it was so fucking annoying uh, to listen to. They're like, that's what I love about history. It's like a study of like, you know, and they, they just kept going back and forth with like, Ugh. Jerking each other off with their intellect, and I was just sitting there, Ugh. just like you guys. I basically tapped into my ancient warrior. You should. I was like, these guys are gay. <laughs> <laughs> she should like me. <laughs> what the fuck? She liked this guy. That's when I went and bought books. Did you really? I saw these fucking two hitting it off. I was like, I should read. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was my um, that was my shit. That's been my shit. I'm on. Yeah. Confront, That's good. I was, confronting I was, my demons, dude. Yeah. And I'm because I read this thing about a guy. This it was like an interview with this dude. And he was saying ancient shamans when something was wrong with them, they would think that like uh, some sort of entity came and took a piece of your soul, and it was up to the shaman to go find that for the person. So mm. the shaman would just like dose themselves to oblivion and go into the underworld and be like, "Whoa, I think I know what's going." <laughs> yeah. so that was my. That was my nice. That was my logic. Was that you have to go? Will you shaman me? I'll shaman you. You we have should, to face your demons dude. and your, your dude. This is my thought I had today before I forget. Yo, go ahead. I'll fucking I'll I will fucking do hard drugs with you. Yeah, I'll shaman and you. I'll let you shaman me, dude. That'd be awesome. I'll be your first fucking test, dude. Well, it'll, we should it'll probably be record it. Success. That'd be awesome. Actually, dude. no way. Because I'll be saying some wild <laughs> shit. <laughs> Dude, like, I'm fucking. I'm gay. <laughs> I've stopped. Hold my you just hear dick. my rattle stop, and then yeah. wait, what? Yeah. Ew, dude, get out of here. Oh god, I'm fucking tripping. I need to call my dad. I do. We both I'm just going to lie. Just call nine one one. I was shamaning my friend, and now we're both. Need, we need a shaman. I was shamaning my friends, and we're gay. Dude, that'd be such a funny nine one one call. Oh fuck! But yeah, yeah. That, that was my whole idea. That like, you're. You have to go and face your demons and your when people say like the soul, it's just your idealized version of yourself. And in order to find your idealized version, you have to fucking thin the fog of all your bullshit and your neuroses. And once you do that, you just fucking full synthesis with your own self. Your true self, dude. Your capital S self. That was my idea today. So I was like, it all came together. Hunter gather a diet that I'm gonna do. Slaying doing my dark walks, dude. They're, that's sick. Going to a dark basement and walk around. Dude, I, scary I, as fuck. I told you the one time me and Jamal got high at my parents' house. <laughs> and then we went in through the basement because we were, it was nice. We were late. We would get a blanket. Yeah, yeah. Lay out back, look at the stars, and smoke a blunt. Yeah. Not gay. Not at just all. Just an interracial friendship. Just <laughs> yeah, having fun out there, exploring <laughs> the cosmos together. Well, you guys were like, you guys were both on the football team, too. Yeah. So. I mean, I protected him on, I protected down, yeah. him on the gridiron. You're he was breaking the quarterback. Down walls. He was a quarterback. I was the left tackle. Your whole just, school was like, we don't like this. And they were like, like, we don't like these two getting along together. We were pretty much the <laughs> Gary and Julius from, yeah. But uh, we got inside, and the light switch for the basement was in the basement. So you had to turn the lights off, and it would be pitch black, and then go up the steps. And I was like, get the lights. He's like, you get the fucking lights. And we're both high as fuck. And I was like, nah, dude, you're closer. He's like, are you afraid of the dark? I was like... Yeah, dude. The point. We both like you're fucking gay for being afraid of the light. You're afraid of the dark. It's like you're afraid of the dark. Oh, it's so fucking funny. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty terrifying, Dark's, man. Dark is scary. I'm trying to step it up. I'm going to take a little dark walk in the woods. That'll be my next step. You're going to actually get murdered. No, dude. You can be in dark the woods. in the woods. Is scary. Hell no. I'm going to bring a fucking Rambo knife. I did nice. it one time. I hope you kill someone. I hope you murder someone. That'd be sick. I did it one time. There's a dog park in New Jersey that's like seven acres, all fenced in. 
Yeah. I brought my dogs there at night because they couldn't. This is like my old dogs. They couldn't get uh, along with anyone else. So I started bringing them there at midnight, dude. And I'd fucking prowl them. It's like, like dogs but it's fenced at midnight. In. I'd walk around these woods at midnight with my dogs, dude. And we would just fucking run through the woods. It was awesome. Wow. Because it's a path, but it's like it's in the woods though. So like you you walk back oh there, God. turn the phone you, off. You dude. were letting your dogs out and running through the woods at midnight. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. These that are, sounds great, but that also sounds. Someone brought there. Some I mean, fucking terrifying. If some asshole that. brought his dog in. Take, he was on the same tip as me, and I was like, let me get my dog. And he was just like, no, nah, it'll be fine. I'm like, I don't know, bro. Yeah, you're like, trust me. Dude, he fucking, they started fighting, and I pulled him apart, and then the cops fucking came, and I, you know, they were fucking like, you can't be in a state park. And I was just like, all right, bro. Yeah, there's laws against what you're doing. Not right for now. There's reason. not, dude. State parks for can't a, be policed. For a reason. What? That's bullshit, The last dude. thing you need is some fucking mental patient with <laughs> dangerous dogs <laughs> running around in the woods at midnight. That's stuff of legend, dude. Dude, it was awesome. Neighborhood kids are going to know about you All I could see you. was a fucking... It was the moon. It was, luckily, it was like a full moon, and I could oh. kind of see a little bit, dude. Just fucking... Oh, it was That's awesome. great. Was awesome. it warm out? Yeah. It was oh, the summertime, so dude. Nice. It was fucking awesome. Damn. It was sick. That's awesome. But I was a little... Dude, my thing is, it's one thing. I can do it with my dogs, no problem. If I ran around the woods by myself at nighttime... I'd be getting, especially that'd be a per, that's a perfect arena for it because it's fenced yeah. in. That'd be a spooky, spooky endeavor. That would be very spooky. That's the thing about the fear of the dark is you have to be alone. If you have, even if it's like someone's in there with you, it's like you're not scared. Yeah. Walking by yourself, that would be the fucking dark walk. I'm afraid of. Let's uh, do mushrooms and walk in the woods at nighttime. Yeah, that could be our shamaning. Damn, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I'll do that. Perfect. We'll figure it out. I'll drive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good at driving on mushrooms. I can definitely drive on mushrooms. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh. I'm I'm afraid of deep water. Ooh, ooh, yeah, fuck. Deep water scares the fuck out of me. In like the ocean, you're talking about? Oh my about? god. Yeah, I'm a big bitch about the ocean. I used Dude, to swim in it freely. Now, there's like, a, there's a word for it, and it's like thesophobia. I forget what it's called. Fear of the dark is nyctophobia. Really? Yeah, I think it's something like that. I think that there's a G. No, there's not. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh you Googled God. the wrong thing. <laughs> I think you typed in fear of darks. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, I've been getting uh, I've been getting fucking molested at work. What? Yeah, I've been getting like full-on sexually harassed. You know the lady I've been driving home? Yeah. She's, dude, she started, did I tell you what happened? Thalassophobia, that's fear of dark water, or deep water. Thalassophobia? And there's a whole subreddit on it. It's very oh, thalassophobia? scary. Thalassophobia, yeah. T-H-A. I mean, that's a pretty... I, that makes sense, too. Like, fear of the dark, that makes sense of where that comes from. Fear of deep water, that's like a primordial just, just like fear. Just like that. Just like... Oh, God. Just being dude. in the ocean. With like, yeah. deep See, I, water. I'm or a like seafarer. An, an abyss. Like Fuck, a fucking... dude. Like a whirlpool or something. Ugh. See, I, I'm a, I'm definitely a seafarer. I like the high seas. But, like, yeah, I remember when I was little, we would, like, jump out in deep water and, like, swim around outside of a boat. And now, like, get the I, fuck, I wouldn't do get that. The that's fuck terrifying. Out I might start doing it. I'm telling you, I'm just conquering Deems, dude, 2019. That's a great... And after you conquer one Deem, you start, you're like, you think you're done. You're like, oh, wait, this is another Deem. this other gay-ass Deem. I didn't even realize about this other Deem. You have to conquer all your Deems. Dude, my, my Deem of fucking dancing, not being drunk and dancing with my girlfriend, that's a serious Sober deem. dancing? Sober dancing. I don't think you need... I don't think that's a demon. I think that's a reasonable fucking <laughs> thing that you shouldn't do. <laughs> I shouldn't party. That's rock. definitely what they were doing at the fucking yeah. in the tribe. That was, in the tribe that was fucking everybody's chick. They were all dancing. That's so Men fucking shouldn't fun. dance. <laughs> Fags. <Yeah>. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking funny. But yeah, uh, dude, I've been yeah. getting fucking molested at work. Why? What are they doing to you? They grabbing your donger? No, it was. It's just the fuck. My my fucking lady. I've been driving home. What she? She turned on me, dude. Molesting you sexually? She's been harassing me sexually at work. You know when someone tells you like a story. And they, like, lean on you and all that shit. I was just sitting there the other day, and she came in. Well, it all started when I was driving her home. And How she old was, is she? She's, like, 60, dude. I'm getting... I know, dude. I'm getting fucking... I'm getting literally getting... She, so she's a mature natural. She's a very she mature, a mature natural. mature ebony natural? Yeah, she's a very mature... Very exquisitely mature. Yeah. She's, she's, a, she's a geese. I'm getting, like, dude, like, literally fucking... She'll, like, tell a story and, like, lay on me, like, like hug. And, like, I fell. She was saying how she fell. And she was, like, grab onto me. And just, it, I was just sitting in a chair just, like, 
Well, she said something on the way home the other day that I was like, what the fuck? What did she say? Saying how she hasn't got any dick in forever. <laughs> I was just like, holy shit. I was just driving. I was like, uh, where do you want me to drop you off? <laughs> yeah. So ever since that, I was like, I'm not I'm not taking her back, taking her home anymore. And, really? Uh, I was dropping her home. Yeah, I'm, dude, well, I was just kind of like, this is oh, getting well, weird. She was definitely thinking. I think she thinks I was going to fuck her because she yeah. kept saying that. And she kept being like, you sure you don't want to like check the place out? And I was just like. Because at the one time I did Wow, I'm, for some reason I really want you to fuck her. No, no, I mean, dude. no, I... No, I can't, dude. That'd be horrible. How, and it, it how be, old? Is she gross? She's old, bro. She's a geese. She's a geese for fuck. sure. If she was just a little younger, that's such a hot story. I know, but she's a geese, it's such bro. a fucking hot... She's a geese, dude. She's like, you sure you don't want to come in and check it out? Dude, you, you, you're, what, your brain is constru- oh. what your brain is constructing... I know, I know, is the not even close to the dude, horrific I'm, reality. I'm driving, and it's like, she said that... I'm, I was, like, laughing. I was just yeah. kind of like, that's fucking hilarious. But then the first time I went in, because she was like, come on, like, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, and she's old enough where I'm like, yeah, why wouldn't I go in? But then after she started, like, lately, I've just been kind of like, what How about the fuck? head, though? Dude, and then... What about head? The head's got to be off the hook, dude. Head's got to be fucking ridiculous. Uh, you should do this. No, I do. <laughs> you should the, cheat on your funny, girlfriend with a 60 <laughs> fucking year old. The funniest part was I stood up at one point. You know, after the thing, I'm like, yeah, whatever. You know, she's just doing this thing. I stood up at one point. She sat there and looked me up and down. She went, you got a nice shape. And in my head, I was like, what the fuck part of my body is she talking about? She's talking about that thick rump, dude. I don't know if it was my... Because I had... That my thing was... Thick like rumpus. I was like, is my fucking micro bird bulging right now? Because I had the jeans I had on. I didn't wash them for a while. So they were kind of loose. That's why I didn't think she was talking so about my butt. you thought you had the micro sticking so I th- forward? I thought my jeans were loose, so I thought it looked like I had a bulge. Mm. But I thought she thought the mi- maybe the micro bird might have been like supporting the... Fu- like a fucking tent stick. Yeah. Just supporting a little fucking bulge. And she was, I was just like, dude, is the fucking MB raging right now? Do you have any so pictures all, of this lady? No, I don't. All day, I really don't. All day, I was just like looking. I'm like, do I have a weird fucking micro bulge? Is my butt look sticking out? Like, dude, it's a thick butt. Fucked dude. me up all day in my shape, dude. You got a nice shape. My shape. I was like, what the shape fuck is, is that? Shape is such a fucking demeaning way it's to describe a, weird, a man. Yeah, dude. I was you just got a nice pear shaped <laughs> body, you <laughs> fat pussy. I, know. I was just like, what the fuck? That's a funny insult. Like, nice shape, faggot. <laughs> all dude. day. Hey, you shouldn't say that. All day. Oh, yeah, that's you your said fag. Yeah. No, I did. That's, that's my new, resolution. That's your new resolution. Yeah, not saying F A G. True. Shutting it down. Started that again. You should, you've been shit. No, it's all right. That was last year. Is remember that? You should do it. I got like oh. two weeks in and I was like, fag it, retard. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Uh, it's never too late to start again, dude. I had some gay dudes in the front row of the show this weekend. What? And I was like, hey, I was talking to the audience and I was like, don't be fucking gay. And this gay dude was like, hey, come on, man. What'd you say? And I was like, shut up. You heard you heard my fucking Stonewall in joke. You know I'm fucking part of the you know. What do you say? I was like, I'm woke, dude. Shut up. He started laughing. It was good. Oh, that's so two funny. very gay dudes in the front row. Love yeah, it. having a good old nice. time, dude. Who knew they didn't need fucking twenty four old white chicks yeah. to protect? Who them? knew they didn't need kid gloves to be like, oh my god, you're right. I'm so sorry. I said yeah, that. It was demeaning. Dude. I was like, you heard what I was saying earlier. You know I'm not fucking. They probably just fucking laughed. Yeah, they were laughing. It's hilarious. It was hey. funny. Yeah, I was like, don't be fucking gay. And then I heard these two, the very gay dudes in the front row, be like, come on. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck you guys. You know I'm kidding. <laughs> it was great. Hilarious, dude. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, like they haven't been like torturously bullied yeah, their whole life. Like, that's going to break them. And someone would be like, <laughs> <laughs> Some dude from me, my ancient warrior as a little kid was like, these guys are different than us. Get them. <laughs> Were you different? <laughs> that's so fucking funny. Yeah, I, luckily I, I can say this. I definitely, like, I was such a ruthless bully, but I was more focused on making nerds life hell. Like, I remember there was a oh, kid really? who was gay. See, I never fucked with nerds. Oh, I was a big... I only bullied my friends that oh, were, I like, still, like bully. on the football team. No, I bullied, like, I actively bullied people, like, nerds and, like... Yeah, I only bullied our group of friends. Oh, dude, If I was... somebody, if I could tell someone was, like, a loner... For the most part, I was not a dickhead to them. See, I from the beginning when I was younger, I was like, I was just bullying anyone who I could bully. Yeah, and then there yeah, was that's a, probably how I started. Then there was a kid yeah. who was like homeschooled weirdo. Cool. I got, I think I was scored number four, and he wrote a hit list and brought it to school. I got a fucking. He scored a four. <laughs> he was homeschooled his whole life and went to his mom. I bet I, him, I bet his I, mom I, sent him to eighth grade. And he came, dude. And Prime it was, coming age. Dude, he came in, and it was just like when people watch, like, Locked Up. No, 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 we were no, all no, in there. No, we, no, we were no, all no, in there no, just no, like, no, what no, up, dude? <laughs> dude, he was on our baseball team, and he ended up quitting. And then, like, they found a hit, like, a hit list. And it's literally, and I, I hit number three. 
I was three. Fuck, dude, we were. We it's a hit, strong ranking. The guy bought a batty or a body or a batting cage, so like he would in there like you fucking suck, and the balls would be flying at him. He was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it was so oh. fucking fun. But I stopped. The one thing it was, there was this kid who was definitely gay in my high school, and I for some reason I got punched in the face by a nerd, and I stopped bullying nerds at that point. And then I started just bullying weird kids. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that very vividly my f- like first week at high school because mm-hmm. I was always like, why are people mean to these dorks and like yeah. gay dudes? Why are you mean to them? Yeah. And I went into the bathroom and there was a dork. There was a guy who I knew was a huge fucking dork. <laughs> and I, I think he was gay. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I didn't know at the time, but he was just weird. Yeah. And I was like, what's up, dude? And he just instantly was a fucking asshole because he, he had been bullied so much. He had to shell shock? The, Dorks and gay dudes were fucking mean. Oh, for sure. Like, Shut up, asshole. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. All right. This is who I am now. I'll fight you. There was a dork. He was like uh, moaning Myrtle in Harry Potter. There was a dork. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's in the bathroom like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. He just float around in different classes. Uh, yeah, the was... only gay kid, I used to always be like, yo, you look so fucking hot today. And he'd be like, mm-hmm, and just laugh. And I'd oh, be like, right, you know, we were just laughing. Good. But then I would definitely like, if I saw a kid, I would just, in the meantime, try to set up fights and make kids fight each other. And like, True. I, Behind the scenes... The kid that I used Con- to bully, yeah. the kid that I used to bully, or I did bully that until he punched me in the face before biology class, I, for some reason, was like, all right, I took it upon myself to, like, make him fight some, but in a good way. I thought my intentions yeah, were I pure. I remember this. I thought my intentions were pure, and I, I set up a fight between him and some kid. Yeah, you said one of them called him gay, one of them said they were, like, No, 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 this stuff. was in seventh grade. This, this is a different fight. That was, my intentions weren't pure for that. There were yes. just two nerds a year above me, you and I was Don like, King pretty sure I can make them fight, and I made them fight. Yeah. This was just another kid. I'm like, yeah, Yo, you gotta start standing up for yourself, dude. I'm like, because this kid on the bus used to give him shit too. I'm like, you gotta fight this kid. So then they they actually fall on the bus. How do you do? The, the kid he tried to fight with his school bag on. <laughs> the other kid just grabbed his school bag straps and was choking him. And I was like, no, 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 pick it up, pick it up. Oh, you set him up for failure. <laughs> I wanted him to beat this kid up, and he, got he his, lost. He got his ass kicked. He took dude. an L. He got his if ass. Someone's hit. sitting behind you on the bus. They can fuck you up. That's how the bus rankings are. The further exactly. you sit in the back, the more you can beat the shit up. It's like a Mortal then, Kombat. I remember seeing that kid who I was setting him up to fight with, who and he lost. But I saw this kid at like it was like a soft hop or something. And yeah. He went to my high school, and he was just like, "Yo, I'm on an e pill," and I was like, "Nice." And I fucking just punched him in the stomach as hard as I could, and he was like, "Oh, <laughs> why would you do that?" I was like, "Fuck you, dude." <laughs> Drugs are gay. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought it was funny to punch him. I was like, "What? Does stuff feel really good?" He's like, "Dude, it's unbelievable." And I was like, "Blap!" Right. <laughs> Oh man, she Bully, bullying is the shit. Fuck Gillette, dude. Yeah, dude, bullying is fucking bullying rad rocks. as fuck. Yeah, sorry to go over Gillette again. No, I don't give a fuck. I'll it give was a just f- bothering me because it's crazy, dude. Like the way that people are defending it just sucks. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, snowflakes. You can't handle getting like, like people will post like tweets about like Gillette. Men can be better. Men. Shut the fuck up. Wah, wah. And it's like, that's not how it went. No, not at all. I mean, for some people, sure. And it's like, you guys want to play this game? I'll write a fucking commercial. We'll see who fucking cries. <laughs> I'll write a fucking <laughs> meme. What if did a commercial that was like, black guys. <laughs> <laughs> black dudes. You can do better. Oh black, Gillette had a black people. You can do better commercial. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my oh, god! Man. Gillette needs to hit everyone, dude. If Gillette, G- if Gillette does that, I'll support it. If Gillette's like women, Muslims, shut the fuck up! Oh my god, <laughs> Muslims, f- dude. If Gillette did an anti-Islam commercial, that would be funny. If that was the one, to get everyone on board, and then they just started. Yeah, going and then through it's the like, ranks. well, you were next. Oh my god, Asians! This has a dude in a minivan. <laughs> yeah, learn how to fucking drive, <laughs> Gillette. <laughs> No, oh, but it's just some dude shaving like four hairs on his chin. <laughs> I got the muzzle or the the Asian facial hair, dude. I can't knock it. I don't have much far off from you it. You got dude. a sick goat going though. Yeah, that's true. It's, but that's all I can get is a natural. Didn't goat. you say you were growing it out for November or for? Uh, it said no shade. Like I was going to no pedo- sh- pedophile no sh- January. Wait, what? <laughs> Did you say you're growing it out for pedophiles or something? No, dude. I forget. Sex criminals. No. Grow said, out your goatee for oh, sex yeah, criminals yeah. I, well, I to was support gonna, sex criminals. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna keep. I was gonna not shave to support toxic. Ma- I was gonna support, uh, yeah, toxic masculinity, toxic masculinity, sexual yeah. assault. <gasps> what? <laughs> That's what my goatee's dude, for, dude. What would the Gillette, flag, what dude. would the Gillette Muslim commercial be? 
big some dude with a sword about to chop a reporter's head off and just being like some other guy like oh stop use that sword to shave bro (laughs) (laughs) someone just like holding a woman off a building and like (laughs) do it hey muslims we can do better oh dude we all can be better we can do better yeah, dude. I love the barbecue where the kids are fighting and it's all guys at grills like, boys will be boys, boys yeah, will be yeah, boys. Yeah. I told you, man, for some reason, there's this weird cultural force to like make men more effeminate and women more masculine. It's like, why? This isn't going to go well. It's not a good idea. I'm yeah. not behind it. So yeah, why yeah, would you yeah. do that? I'm a gas stove, dude. You're going to cook gas on me. Women are electric stoves. They're, we're geared for different shit, dude. Yeah, you're not gonna be like, no. Actually, I feel like uh, it's like you, it's, you can't do it, dude. Yeah, I could fuck my girlfriend up, dude, in a fight. Yeah, if Gillette, yeah, dude, this is if bullshit. Gillette, Gillette's trying to stop you from beating the shit out of her, dude, fuck no Gillette, dude. fuck that, dude, rock her. I'm so much stronger. I go to the gym with her all the time. I see what weight she's doing. You fucking lay her out. I can do jump rope for three minutes straight, dude. She can't. She can't even cross the ropes. She's got a piece though. Huh? She might put she you could, down. I worry about that sometimes. Oh, yeah. I she would. could shoot Good my fucking God. ass, dude. She would walk, too. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, dude. She'd shoot my ass and fucking laugh. Strong, independent woman? Yeah, for sure. Shoots white supremacists. They'd bring up clips from this podcast. Oh, I'd be fried, dude. Oof. <laughs> I'm not white supremacist. She would definitely walk. Yeah, you are. Look at that goat. You said you were going that goat for to support the boys in D.C. <laughs> who harassed that Native American. <laughs> Matt lovingly refers to the boys from DC. No, I fucking He's don't. He's like those boys. Went I didn't down even there know about gave those that boys. engine. What for, dude? <laughs> gave that's, that, oh. that's so funny. They went and saw that guy, and they're like, "Hey, you get out of here, you yeah. fucking idiot!" And what's funny is some news place I think interviewed the Native American afterwards. Yeah, and he was like, "My people didn't want you guys here. We had a perfect culture." He yeah. like did this whole thing about like we respected elders. We, they didn't they used to fucking we, like push them off of cliffs yeah, and shit yeah, like you, you put them on ice flows and push them out <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna lump all Indians together yeah yeah it's funny he was like we solved our problems within there were no prisons before you came it's fucking... like yeah cause you guys couldn't invent walls you had fucking t- <laughs> 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 you would also, like, also just like fucking bury someone. Yeah, up I doubt there was. And... I doubt there was a lot of fucking fair trials back then either. Yeah, dude. Sure, it was fucking like I accuse him of this crime. Cut his fucking head off. Yeah, for sure. It was like tied to a tree, four hours in the head, and it's yeah. like, all right, we're out. So they they had like the whole thing. He figured had a out. speech figured out, but he. I think he again, dude. This is a fucking Native American that like served in Vietnam. Really, he was the fucking man. Like, yeah, it, yeah. it's it's ridiculous that these kids did that. They for were sure. fucking gay. You gotta Those be kids gay. suck. You have to be gay to do Those that. Those kids fucking suck. Think they were gay for real? That's why they but did it. But if 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 I was, yeah, they're all gay. <laughs> Anybody from Covington Catholic, <laughs> Covington Catholic, I think is what it's called in uh, Kentucky. All That's gay. So fucking funny. But uh, you like abortion, you fucking savage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, the kid had the guy had nothing to do with abortion. I he know. was there because he was like a Vietnam vet. Yeah, like Native American Vietnam vet. Yeah, they definitely. That's did. what his whole thing was. What was his? What was he protesting? Oh, he was in the indigenous wall. I don't know. He was just chilling, man. Yeah, he was just fucking. He was just down there, just watching, balling out. He was just watching. But uh, yeah, it was funny to hear his speech afterwards. And like somebody he, interviewed him. He had him. a fucking sick. He speech. had like a not really. It's just exactly what every single person who has no fucking idea about history thinks Native Americans were. Oh yeah, like, we had no prisons before you came. Yeah, we were peaceful people. It's like, were you? Yeah. Were you peaceful? Yeah, that's such fucking... That's crazy, man. It's like, we were here first. It's like, who'd you run off the land? Yeah, exactly. Why don't you shut up? <laughs> I'm joining the boys, dude. <laughs> it's funny, because maybe they had this. The guys probably went up to him like, oh, hi, it's a Native American. They're like, yeah. what are you doing, sir? And he's like, we did it. They're like, shut the fuck up, you <laughs> yeah, motherfucking yeah, grab, yeah. baby. Yeah, but no, it's a fucking smug kid smiling in a Native American's face while he's that wearing a MAGA sucks. hat. That it's sucks. a gay fucking look. If you're political, either way, Fuck. you fucking stink. I wish they could realize that, that they're just like the inverse of fucking like an SJW. Yeah. If you're walking around trying to like actively oppress Native Americans, you're an <laughs> SJW. You're the fucking, you're like, get them, yeah. boys. Yeah, you're the same thing. I was talking about that with Soder. It's like, Ugh. if you're from, like where I'm, like a, you're from a pretty yeah. Republican hometown sure. or like all that. Like if you're in a Republican hometown, you get called fucking gay. Yeah. If you're in a city, you get called a racist. Sure. It's the same fucking thing. Definitely. They're like, what are you, a pussy? And then you come to the city and they're like, what are you, fucking hate women? Yeah. It's, de- it's like no definitely. matter what, they, whatever they think the worst thing you can be is, that's who they call their political opponents. Well, that's their, you ever see the sign they put up in the city? It's like, 
all we love everyone muslims yeah. homeless women trans that's like the someone just hanging a sign that's like don't yeah. be gay or like a confederate flag yeah it's the <laughs> exact same as some fucking gun shop in mechanicsburg put yeah. a confederate flag up like, we love all women yeah. we love america we love muslims and our heritage yeah, exactly dude. it's like yeah you guys all name things that are tough to be like no <laughs> i know <laughs> like it's all like like back to that fucking alexandria chick yep her she'll tweet like our country is too wealthy to have poor people in it. Yeah. It's like, all right, what do you want me? How do you want me to argue with that? Yeah. It's like, that's your political stance is you want to end poverty? Dude, I, I saw yes. one guy's political stance yes. was literally that he didn't support cops no more shooting rape. young black kids. No more cops shooting young black kids. Yeah, no like, rape. No murder. No war. Yeah. It's like, yes. It's awesome. Please. Do it. Please. Well, that's my thing, too. It's like, to think, like, to think about... That's my political stance. I'm no rape, no, how you're about no rape, no murder, I'm no war. I'm all about no violence and no for bad. Sure. I'm a, I'm a, my platform is no more bad things. Utopia, dude. I want no bad things. Yeah, to you're happen. an you're an utopianist. Yeah, that's. Dude. I'm a eugenics utopianist. <laughs> utopianist. Why eugenics? I well, I'm, bad things. I don't just big get, ass dicks only. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna maintain a population of fat dicks, <laughs> thick butts, <laughs> fat tits, <laughs> the thickest motherfuckers walking around, dude. thick roots only. <laughs> So you're Farrakhan, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I um I mean it's gonna be like when people are like, you know Hitler's mom was half Jewish? It's gonna be like that with me. Oh. Once I create this master race, they're gonna be like, Do you know Shane actually had a small dick? <laughs> <laughs> his whole population, he demanded fat dicks. Do you know his dick was actually small? Oh my god. <laughs> That'll be I, a topic I, of historians debate how thick my root was. Oh, for sure, dude. They're, apparently they kept saying Daniels is saying uh, Trump has like a supreme mushroom head. <laughs> he said he said it's like he has like the most mushroomest tip anyone's that she's ever seen. And she's a porn star. That's sick. She's like he's a weird dick and he knows it. He has like she was saying like it was like it reminded her of Toadstool from Mario Kart. He's wow, got such a mushroom head. That's because you know going back to your theory about plunging. Yeah, Trump comes from such a dynastic fucking DNA pool, <laughs> just such a dominant DNA pool that only the guys with the thickest plungers can be a Trump. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, that's fucking crazy. But dude, that makes me la- the the what's her name? Alexandra Ocasio Cortez. Yeah, yeah, Sandy. Sandy. Yeah, she went well back before she was an SJW. She stripper? was her name. No, her name was fucking Sandy. Someone and- said someone tried to put up a thing that she was a stripper before. Might have been propaganda. Definitely. Okay. Why, you, why would you call herself Sandy? Because she was a white chick. Why would she change her name to Alexandria? Well, her her name was always that, but they called her Sandy. Who did, dude? Her all oppressors? The fucking, all the oppressors she was friends with. What? All the colonizers she hung out with. Damn. And then she was like, oh, I can use my Hispanic name to my advantage. My now, now my name up? is Alexandria Ortacio Cortez. It's like, oh, you mean Sandy? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Sandy? What did you see when... Uh... <laughs> I don't know anything when about her. When she does her thing. By the way, I want I want any gay listeners listening. I don't know shit. Um, actually, yeah. Whatever. She's actually really great. And what you're saying is actually like really fucked up. And, uh, the, uh, well, fuck you, Dairy Queen. What's, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what's funny is watching these these billionaires who like watch her and they're just kind of like, people like, yeah, we're going to win. And they're just probably like, bah. <laughs> like yeah, 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 all right, yeah. dude. So, oh, you're going to take 70% of my, yeah, yeah. All right. yeah. yeah. It's like, okay. Come take it. Well, it's also funny that like they all keep being like, we can do this, we can do It's like, dude, we can hardly control ourselves. You know what I mean? It's like hard to like, dude, it's hard not to do shit or like hard to get, make yourself do stuff. If you multiply that times, what is it? Seven fucking billion people. Of course shit's fucked up, dude. You can't even control yourself. And you multiply that times a bunch of people. If you're like, well, let's just share this money. It's like, okay, people are still going to be wilding out, dude. Yeah, this, uh, oh my God. Uh, never mind. What? What'd she I say? I just sound like such a bitch for hating Why? this chick so much. I mean, dude. I don't even hate her that much because she does say things that I obviously agree with. Like, dude, I said, if she tax, if if they pass a seventy percent tax on the ultra rich, I'd be like, sweet, yeah, awesome, yeah, let's get it, give me that yeah. money, dude. And it's funny because it's a bunch then, of poor, a dude. bunch of poor people like me are like, those guys earned it. Let them keep I it. Know. I want to be a billionaire. <laughs> I want to be a billionaire one day. I have like two thousand dollars. I don't want people taking my seventy percent. I'm, like, I'm rich. Yeah, dude. That's uh. I don't want someone taking my... Dude, when I make my first bill, dude, I don't want someone taking fucking 70%. True. Once our fucking shit pops off, once the Patreon starts popping off and we're both billionaires... What are you, what are you uh, popping up on her? I'm just... They have this thing about her, like, dancing. Yeah? That was a big... That's a big thing that Republicans are trying to shit on her for. There's a video of her, like, dancing. So what? 
Exactly. Oh, they're saying like if they're she's like, dead. Look at this lady. She's fucking. She's a slut. <laughs> yeah. Look at this slut dance. She's a whore. She danced. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. That's sick though. That's that's a sweet fucking attack. Yeah, she just. Oh yeah, think she could be a congresswoman? Well, let and me show you when she video. danced. Yeah, and then she like it's just it's funny to just see I don't know both sides and have her be like, and they're trying to attack me because I dance. And nah, 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 yeah, nah. so then she put up a video of her dancing. It was kind of funny, but she also like posts like meme level like internet slang as like Ugh. responses to like Republicans talking shit on her. Yeah, Cardi like, B. One of them was fighting. like, all of our bases now belong to us. You know that fucking old. I don't know. No. Cardi, it's, yeah, it's a very old meme. Cardi B's uh, going at it right now with Tommy Lauren. Nice. Yeah, Cardi B's been like, Cardi B's been real political. Cardi, boy's, Cardi B's Cardi Cardi boy, in. dude. Cardi, Cardi boy. <laughs> Cardi she, B. <laughs> Cardi B. She been, was a stripper. Yes. But they, someone was trying to say that, you know, who was, too? Good. It could have been fucking Breitbart propaganda. But, uh, yeah, Cardi B's been, like, talking about, like, a lot of shutdown stuff. Being like, this shutdown is fucking stupid, man. Uh, yeah, I saw that. And uh, Tommy Lauren came out and was just basically like, oh, hilarious. Is this an, the liberals' next great thinker? And, like, basically trashed her, which is like... And then uh, Cardi B's like, I will fucking dog walk you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. That's hilarious. I'm like, fuck you, man. I'm definitely on Cardi B's side on yeah, that battle. I will dog walk you. Yeah, Car- I, I would say. Yeah. She's hot. Yeah, I support Cardi B. She's hotter. When girls argue about ideology, I'm like, wait, but you're hotter. Yeah, who's hotter? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a- a- AOC. She's got a chance, dude. She's she can be hot sometimes. Who? Alexandria. Yeah. Alexandria. Yeah, she can look good. Yeah, if she fucking definitely she came to power. Up. There's also a hot Muslim lady that's coming in. What? There's a hot Muslim congresswoman. They're, they're doing it right, dude. It's funny it took them that long to figure out. If they just put a bunch of hot chicks out, we'll be like, okay. Yeah, it's like, wear a turban. Yeah. You're going to get people jerking off, dude. <sighs> Mia Khalifa set the table. Now run with it. Who's Mia Khalifa? The fucking princess of Arab porn, dude. What? what the- <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know about that. What? I didn't know about Mia Khalifa. The name sounds familiar. Because of Wiz, her brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know why I feel uncomfortable Talking about Alexandra, I, I, like I don't care enough and know enough. To well, no, shit you on just this. don't want to be personified. But it's just, like, and I'll tell you what, Alexandria. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to be one no, of those guys. Just, I don't hate her because I just hate people that are phony. And exactly. She seems very phony. To yeah, me. for sure. And I, I think it's, I think it's because the right does it, and when they're like, "I love God and troops," it's yeah. like you're a fat pussy, dude. You need to <laughs> fucking shut the fuck up. You're a fat rich pussy. You, you have nothing to do with the military, yeah. and you're a scumbag. Yeah, you sinned immensely to get where you are. Mm. So that's ridiculous. But it then is. the left being like, "It's time for change, and we are here to fight for the people." Viva yeah. revolution! And it's like you're going to claim political revolution as soon as you get into office. You're going to be just by the book Democrat for you're sure. Like, what is our party line? Yeah, that's who I am. Yeah, yeah. There's an, it's just bullshit, dude. Yeah, it's just that's like the that's like the the cool thing that's going to get kids like we need to do this, and she'll get in, and it'll be. Yeah, they're all Pepsi commercials. Her seventy percent is going to be Trump's wall, dude. He's not getting. He's not getting. That but also, wall. what's what's happening now is if Trump gets that wall, it's setting up the next president to be considered the greatest president of all time. Well, he'll knock it down when he knocks it down. He's exactly. like, "This is a country of peace." I was about to say, dude, Oof. that's going to be like Gorbachev, dude. Yeah, it is. That's he's I said. Tear that before, down this wall. I was telling dude. that to someone, I'm like, dude, if he builds that, someone's going to get mad cred for knocking be, it down. Next person's winning the Nobel Peace Prize. Tearing that down. It'd be funny if they threw it on the wall and a bunch of Mexicans, Mexicans came in. Like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, <laughs> shit, shit. Put it back up, put it back up. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's like a zombie movie, just like a hand sticking through a fucking nailed-in window. <laughs> on, on, you open it, there's like a million. It's just like, oh, fuck. Oh, it'd be so funny. He was funny. right. He so was funny. right. <laughs> if you pulled the wall down and then everyone got raped, they're like, oh, oh, God, no. Drugs come flying in. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Trump's in the stockade. Trump's like, a ghost. Dude. Trump's in the he's stockades. Dead. He's still doing his, pe- his fingers. <laughs> yeah, he's like, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> they got that French Revolution. It's dude. a beautiful wall. Those socialists I met last night, they would go for it. What? Building that wall? Just down, a it French down? Revolution. Get the guillotine out. Dude, you, there are, uh, aren't the French like having a revolution, like a full revolution right now? Yeah. I think they didn't run on the banks. I think the conservatives are getting wild over there. Run on the banks, I think. I think they took yeah. all the money out of the banks. I free, I don't know enough I'm about, about to take it. my fucking money out, dude. You better take I'm about your to money make, out. I'm about to make the system feel it, dude. If you withdraw your money from the banks, this is going to be like 08. Yeah. What's that, what was it called? Like Black crisis. Friday? Yeah. 
It's like Black Friday. It's you, like 29, you dude. took your money out, some dude at Bank of America down the street would jump out the window. <laughs> You'd be like, oh my God, somebody just withdrew $800. <laughs> jump out the window. He's got a payment coming for 150 <laughs> For Raymore and Flanagan. I'm gonna feed my fucking family. <laughs> he has all to deduct 150 a month for Raymore and Flanagan, dude. <laughs> fucking dude, the stock market just drops down. Nasdaq dude, plummets. Waving their fucking. Oh, I, like, oh, dude, I'm about to make a run on my bank. Do it. Fuck the bank. It's, it's open tomorrow. I'll make a run tomorrow. Yeah. I've gone into banks and demanded my money. How'd that go? PNC. They fucking forked it. Really? So give me my fucking money out of here. They started doing this bullshit where like. They signed me up for this How thing. Have you take it on banks. <laughs> I took on PNC, dude. You better take on the bank. They banks. started hitting me with these fees, and I was like, give me my fucking... And they were like, well, we can't. I was like, get the fuck out of here. Give me my money right now. And they were yeah. like, well, we have to wait three days. I'm like, I'm not fucking leaving until I have my money. And they were just like, all right, we'll sign you check. Like, Hell fuck yeah. P- I hate PNC. Really? Hate PNC, hate TD. Who do you like? Citizens Bank. You like... The, yeah, that's because of the and I like people. And I like Bank of America because they were laundering all that drug money. Yeah, that's cool. Sick. I saw I su- that. I, was I like, support fuck that. Yeah, dude. What are they down in Mexico? Yeah, dude. Nice. Pretty sure El Chapo might have fucking used them. Wasn't there? Aren't there like tons of banks along the border? Probably. I think there's like it's very clear what's happening. Really? Yeah, I could be wrong on. I that. know. Well, I know Bank of America. I might got get pinched. all my information from Sicario. <laughs> <laughs> Bank of America got pinched. I like citizens because it's paperless. I love even trying to discuss any of this. Oh, dude! All my information's like Sicario, <laughs> like one Reddit thread. <laughs> The typical liberal on Instagram. Well, I love how you're like, I think it is, and I'm, I don't even know anything. I'm like, yeah, dude, definitely, obviously. Yeah, clearly that's what's going on. But yeah, the... um, Dude, I found out... Well, you you know that Instagram account I followed about? It's called the typical liberal? Yeah. Like, they post funny, like, meme. I think it's funny to yeah. see, like, a conservative meme. It is. They're all I've seen them retarded. Before but then the guy posted pictures of himself for once. What's he He's look exactly like, bro? who you think he is. He's some hold, hold fat on. fucking beard, little stubble. Yep, no b- beard, Full beard, short, fat kid from <laughs> Alabama. That's like yeah. I love this country and I love it. It's like, dude, you stink. Well, that book I read, Hillbilly Elegy, that was the uh, the the dude had a chapter about it was his autobiography, and one chapter was about him laying in bed at night, like thinking about how much he loves America. And I was yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. fucking weirdo. Yeah, that was so funny. This guy, the fact that this dude's like an Instagram guy, yeah. that's like a short, fat Southerner, that like. He'll post pictures of, like, the United States military and shit. And it's like, dude, what do you have to do with the fucking military? Yeah, You're a short, sucks. fat Instagram star. Yeah, for real. Suck a dick. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that I think sucks, I DM'd dude. him and I was like, promote Matt and Shane Secret Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't respond to, fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, that shit's fucking lame, man. That was the whole point of this country. So you could just come here and just be like a fucking ro- a decadent Roman. Yeah. And be like, huh. Just don't care about any of that stuff. That book I'm reading now is really interesting stuff about the what military. Really? And how like like civilian and military there was never that that changed in the nineteenth century. There what? was never a separation between the military and the population. Oh. Like civilian didn't even mean non military. Really? Civilian meant like you studied law. What? Yeah, like you knew civil like law. That person's a like civilian. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? And like the military wasn't ever regarded the way we regard them now as like with so much reverence. It was just like, kind of like, fuck, we got to go. Yeah. The people that were in the military, the militaries were a lot smaller back then. Yeah. In, at least in Western Europe. Mm-hmm. And like, it was like, you basically just served the king. Mm-hmm. That was it. So you were like a mercenary. Yeah. There wasn't. And it was there like was, thieves, and soldiers. There mostly, there was a lot of armies were compiled of dudes from other countries. Yeah. As I'm saying, so They're it was just like mercenaries, thieves, it soldiers, was like a job. sailors. Yeah, it was. It was just a job. There wasn't this like, this is my country. I'll die for it. How did they fucking just like trick everyone? Money. They would just pay dudes. There was there were generals that were generals for like six different countries. I'm saying, how do they ki- trick everyone now to be like, I love my country? Well, that's what this book's about. It's about total war. What? And it's about amassing the entire country as a weapon. And these apocalyptic wars that are like, this is the war to end all wars. Instead of back in the day when it would be like, this is a war for this small territory. These two kings want it. Wow. We're going to have a gentleman con like this. It was part sure. of life. Mil- wars were considered just like a natural part of life. Yeah. Like we fight gallantly, like all this bullshit. Mm-hmm. Now it's like we hate war, but when we do it, it's for, it's to end all wars. Yeah. That is fucking and weird. Like we need to end all war. Like every war, so like Napoleon, they, somebody gave a speech like this is the last war. World War One. they were like, this is the war to end what? all wars. World War Two. they they're like, finally peace. And then, wow, yeah, 
Yeah, the book I'm reading right now, I think you'd like it. It's called End Zone by Don DeLillo. And it's about, it's basically about nuclear warfare, but also it's the whole plot is through a uh, uh, college football team. So it's about this college football team, and then they're like the one guy gets obsessed with nuclear warfare and like talks to all of his teachers about it. And dude, they like talk about like decimation of popul. It's really it's like a weird book. It's really funny, but they have a whole thing about that. Is how like our god is at, is like atom bombs now. That's like our new god. We're like it's just like the, the sheer force of it all. It's just yeah. like it's fucking crazy. That's the only thing that we bow to. We're just like fuck the the atom bomb. Like we worship it, hmm. which is pretty sick. Yeah. The book's really good. It's funny. It's funny writing about a uh, college football team. Like, yeah. the guy will just be, like, sitting there thinking about atom bombs, and the guy next to him will be like, pussy, <laughs> yeah. dash, slit. Dude, it's so It's like us. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're sitting there like, I got to conquer my demons. They're like, I got to get some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> the book is pretty funny, though. Yeah, the I'm I'm excited about this. These books I got. That's fucking They're awesome. They're fucking sick. They're like, Napoleon, dude, I started to talk about it on the Patreon. Yeah. Ooh, Listen to the Patreon. Sorry, dude. I missed it. Patreon 2 is sorry. out, dude. Patreon 2 is in the air. Patreon dude. 2 is going to be sick. It's fucking lit. Um... But I was talking to the. I talked a little bit about Napoleon's parents because I don't know anything about Napoleon. True, knew either. For some reason in our history, we don't talk about he it. He sabered. I know he sabered champagne bottles. I think he invented that. He was wild. But that was part of his his clique did that. But he was. Uh, his dad was a this French dude that was just fucking wild. The stories are fucking sick. What would he do? He was just out fucking everybody. What? He was even linked to Marie Antoinette. Like there was a lot Who, of like. Who's that? She was the queen of France. Damn, he fucked her? He was fucking everyone. He had, like, sorcerers. His dad fucked the queen? Allegedly. What? But listen to this story. When his dad met his mom, yeah, Napoleon's parents, they were both married. Uh-huh. Napoleon's mom was some 18-year-old. Napoleon's dad was at war. They met while he was at war. Okay. And they, like, were writing letters back and forth. And then finally she basically said, like, yeah, we can fuck. What? So he went down and fucked her. And her husband, she was 18, this guy was like 40, he was some lawyer, some French lawyer. His letter game was that strong? Yeah, his le- for Napoleon's dad's letter game was strong. How did he f- so he was like, yo, let me get the-. he's like, but you got an address though? Yeah. And he was and like, was all like, right. I will succumb to you. And get- and Fuck. So he went and was fucking her. And then the guy who <sighs> suspected that she wanted to fuck that guy wanted to find <laughs> out if she liked him. He-, he wanted to find out if she loved the guy that was cucking her. So he was Wait, like, he was he was cucking someone. Yeah, he cucked this lawyer, this Napoleon's French lawyer. Dad. Napoleon's dad was cucking a French lawyer Fuck. with Napoleon's mom. Fuck his eighteen year old hot mom. Damn. And then he was the the guy came home and was like, I hate to tell you this, but that guy you've been writing to, he's fucking dead. He died in battle. To see if she would like cry, cry. and she was like. Well, I must have brought him back to life because he's in the room over and we just had sex. Damn. And then uh, Napoleon's dad fucked his lawyer up. No, then they might have had a menage a trois. Stop, they had a devil's threesome? Yep. Then God the, then damn, that that's guy the most French and, thing I've ever yeah, heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, I am so outraged, I must fuck you yeah, with him. Yeah, then him and uh, Napoleon's dad ran a train Wait, on so Napoleon Napoleon's was mom. basically created by two men, but... Maybe. He might have two dad. He might have two daddy. What? Yeah, dude. Damn, dude. Yeah. What dude. a sick origin story. Yeah. He was a product of a devil's threesome? Yep. And then I think they split up. After, after the three, the, after they fucked, I think the the mom like found God and started focusing on that, and the dad went back to France and just fucked everyone. Yeah, but and he this was lady also, raised Napoleon. Yeah, and the dad who was like a war hero, or he was like a he was fucking everybody. He yeah. was also like a war hero. He was like the man in battle. Of course, yeah, dude. And he was Napoleon's write letters was and the get, fucking man. So that guy would just like battle write letters, and someone would be like, all right, you can fuck me, and he would just this guy would. Come across the French countryside as fucking like blue balls. Just like, <laughs> yeah, oh, oh god, oh my god, I have so much coming. <laughs> the uh, what was funny was the author of the book was like, and I can't even state enough how much of a he was such a philanderer that by 18th century French aristocracy standards, they were like that guy's a piece of shit. And back Ooh. then they were fucking everybody. What? Yeah, holy shit, yeah. dude. And it was weird the way that he describes the military is like the officers because they would only fight between like May and October. Sure. So it wasn't a full time job. Like you would leave the military and you would fuck, and they would all go fuck and like write poetry and like be artists. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were gay. So that guy would like. I mean, back then too. Like, if you saw a chick in the woods, that was fair game. Oh, a hundred percent. You could be like, chick in the woods. Ch- yeah. I mean, that's still fair game in the French in the French countryside. <laughs> if you run into a chick while you're at midnight, Helen. Oh, for sure. Around, that's. I wouldn't even. I mean, I would, she would just probably go prone, assume. She'd be a bitch. You'd have to run. True. If you saw a hot babe in the woods, 
True. That's a bitch. I'd get vished in. Like, wait, yeah, what, yeah. what? Everything cool out here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. yeah, dude. That would be awesome. Yeah, I'm excited to report back next week with more Napoleon facts. Dude, I fucking need that. I don't know yeah, anything about the guy. Napoleon, yeah. He was His a, origin story is awesome. Origin story is he got fucking banished at one point. He has like two reigns. He His first reign, he got France? banished to an island. Dude. Then he fucking came back and took power again. What? Yeah, bro. God damn. Yeah, but that was like the whole book is he about. He fuck a lot too? Napoleon? He had a, I'm sure he did. More of a power boner? He was more of, yeah, he was like a. That was one thing he said. He was like, "I didn't have, I didn't have friends growing up. All I had were books." He like studied war. Damn. He just became he like that's the books about him like inventing total war. That's and being tight. Like, if you study war, there's definitely an outlet. Like, what do you want to do? Be like wage war. And they're yeah. like, "All right, we can plug you." All right, psycho. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, we got to think. I was for writing that. poems, but all right, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to get pussy and write. What I'm are you trying up to, to wage fucking war? I'm gonna dude. conquer Europe. I'm like, all right, damn. Let's get you up there. <laughs> I mean, dude, if you get the right, you know, if you get, get the right channels, you like, all right, army, check. You can just start mobilizing that thing and conquering. It's pretty, yeah. I mean, that's, that's a fun thing to do. Yeah, except then, like I said, I got that Goya book. That was all his drawings from what Napoleon wow. was doing in Spain. Like, the the army was just murdering and raping. A lot raping. of devil threesomes. A lot of devil rapes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, and then I was looking at it, and it was funny because I read that story about them fucking yeah and i was like this entire tragedy came out of those two fucking like yeah, they had one kid and they created oh my the god the fucking devil they literally they did. created the antichrist and he took over most of europe holy fuck yeah pretty wild if only that only if she tore up that letter if only that girl wasn't such a fucking slut if only that 18 year old wasn't a goddamn slut she didn't need to cheat on that geezer that how many her. people died because she was a fucking because she whored out where, where did she even meet his dad he just breezed through town yeah, he was at war. And back then, war was like... Yeah, you're just kind of bopping just around. go down to a city. Jesus like, Christ. We're going to go to war tomorrow. Yeah, I love you. Yep. I fucking Boom. love you, babe. Next thing you know, you give birth to Napoleon. <laughs> Damn, dude. That's yeah. fucking blowing my mind. Wild stuff. Yeah, I'll fucking, show you these fucking, fucking... bitch. These Goya drawings. I'm so mad at her, dude. Yeah. It's all her fault. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let me see them. Yeah, they're fucking, they're hilarious. And like I said, the captions are like, he did not want this. It's like a priest getting cut open. <laughs> it was not good. That's hilarious. Yeah, bro. We're at an hour yeah, 20. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's fucking, let's, let's rip it. Uh, let's call it. Um, fuck, I have, fuck. What, you pulling off some dates? Yeah, fuck it. No, we'll, pull, we'll pull up your fucking we'll, dates, dude. Pull up your goddamn dates. Buy my fucking book. Yeah, buy the Yo, book. Yo, I'm, I'm thinking about putting my, uh, I was unsure about this. I might put up the first, like, 73, I think it is, pages of my rough draft up on Patreon, of my second book. Don't don't float that out there unless you're going to do it. I'm going to do it. So yeah, sure It was a little sneak preview. You can see yeah, what I'm up to. Put a little PDF on the Patreon. Yeah, a little sneak preview. I bet they'll edit it, too. I bet people be will be like, here's sick. some fucking spell checks. Here's that some would be fucking... fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, but yeah, I might just throw it up on the Patreon. Like that one guy who sent us a riddle. I'm sure. Dude, we'll I still got to fucking crack that yeah, riddle. we got to crack the riddle. Shit. Give us another clue, dude. Yeah, dude, come He's on. He's definitely listening. Send us more riddle clues. Yeah, Riddler. That's fucked up. We have a Riddler on our yeah, case. Yeah, there's a Riddler. He's <laughs> going to, I think all he's going to do is donate to the Patreon. If we figure it out, he's like, all the riches lie. It's going to be like a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. Uh, be a dollar in February sixteenth. February sixteenth. I'll be I'll be headlining at Laugh It Up Poughkeepsie. Ooh. I'm bringing Okani. Okani with the feature spot. Where's Poughkeepsie? New York. Yeah. Shit. Going to New York. That'll be nice. That'd be awesome. Uh, other than that, listen to the Patreon episode. It's fucking good. Support Soldier Boy. Please support Soldier. Please Boy. buy the fucking Soldier phone. Soldier Trap phone. Buy the Soldier, soldier Watch. watch. Soldier, Do it. buy the game. Oh, wait, we didn't shout anybody out. Buy the video game. Shout out the Patreon listeners. We shout out all the Patreon listeners, dude. We have, Go through dude, that. That's, it's been an overwhelming month. Yeah, it's been great. Um, you know who you is. Slippy Ball Bag. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Slippy Ball Bag. <laughs> Logan Frey up in his fucking Damn, Patreon donation. Dude. Logan Frey's the man. I'm seeing that Taylor Walker, dude. Taylor Walker. What about Cody W, dude? Cody Dub, dude, coming in with a hard 350. Wow, dropping tree fitty on us. Damn. I like that. Martinez. Damn, Nathan, dude. This a is lot of people would have gone with three bucks. Someone said, was telling me too that like a lot fitty. of times if you get a if your card gets damn Dylan Marcus throwing a motherfucking jack. Dylan Marcus, what are you doing, dude? You're... Scott Wineski. Damn, Luther Manhole, I see you, bro. Justin Nice Nishe. Nishe, dude. 
Damn, Bobby O'Hurley, Matt Grosso, Derek Colin Getz. Mock. Never mind, Damn, that's just dude. a comment. <laughs> Dabo Sweeney, shit. Oh, Dabo Sweeney, dude. You know who that is? No, who that? That's fucking Clemson's head coach. Is it really? Yeah, Hilarious. fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. Chase Everly, dude. Blaine Hill. What the fuck, dude? Wow. Jonathan Cauldron. This is insane. Meet yeah. Murphy, dude. Damn. These guys are great. Well, now we're, so, we're also thanking them with the fucking content, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We thanking these boys. Bobby O'Hurley, these... what up, bro? <laughs> now we're gonna dish out some content for the dog. Yup, dude. Yup. So I'm, I think I'm gonna put that up. Um, and also I'm about to go get my Soldier Boy trap phone so I can make prank calls. And also conquer your daemons. Uh, dude, I'm, that's all I'm doing your right daemons. now. Your daemons. My daemons, dude. With D A E. Yeah. M O N S. That was actually the uh, your personality the old in Rome. It was, you were born with like you was you came out of your mother's vagina and also your daemon. Came out what? and your daemon hovers above you and gives you all of your sick ideas. And it's that's why they never took credit. Like artists back then would be like, That's just my daemon. Wow. It was like the idea of a muse. It was just like I just happened to have a sick ass fucking daemon floating above my head being like I think you Start have a, a sick daemon. Yeah, there's Walk two daemons the in this room. By yourself. Ooh. Art, dude, this is just daemons, dude, floating, floating around. around. Very fucking spooky awesome. daemons. I'm all about getting people back into the idea of the soul. That's nice, man. You're very like spiritual. That. Very spiritual. So I'm all about, dude, I saw my soul when I was high one time on edibles. It was like a green orb around me. I was just like, Ugh. Wow, your, your aura is green? Yeah. It's a good Green aura is fucking sick. Very earthly. That was that and the green web of reality I saw when I was on mushrooms. Dude, if you Google that, people see that. Yeah? The green, dude, look up the grid pattern. If you look up like mushrooms and you Google mushroom grid pattern like I did, there's this thing people see when they're tripping and it's a green fucking grid. I, I've talked about it before. I'm not yeah. going to get into all this. Check that out, dude. My energy's green. I know that for sure. Speaking of daemons, what? I was watching that fucking sleep paralysis documentary again. Eee. Good God, dude. The Baba Ganoushka. That what is fucking, that called? There's a Baba Ganoush. The... What's that called? The <laughs> Baba Ganoush. What's that shit called? You know what I'm talking about? The Baba Duke. The Baba Duke, dude. Dude, I saw the fucking. I saw my daemons. Oh. Just standing before my bed. He was pissed. Scary. Shit. That's because I was going through a breakup. I was going to was crying. My family was just talking to me. <laughs> Uh, we took acid for 10 days straight up in the mountains yeah.